Herzlich Willkommen zurück zu Let's Play Life is Strange, liebe Leute. In der letzten Folge sind wir auf der Weltuntergangsparty des Vortex Club eingetroffen und haben uns mit verschiedenen Leuten unterhalten, um, äh, um herauszufinden, wo Nathan Prescott sich aufhält, der Mörder von Rachel Amber, wie wir leider feststellen mussten. Ähm, wir haben festgestellt, Nathan ist nicht hier, aber wir konnten zumindest Victoria, das äh, potenzielle nächste Opfer, warnen. Jetzt da vorne wartet Chloe jetzt auf uns, aber hier sind noch ein paar Leute, mit denen ich noch sprechen will, bevor ich gehe. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. How's the end of the world going? Great! This has been the worst fucking week of my life, so I needed to act like a carefree student tonight. For Kate. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. The Vortex Club is also enabling him. I know. Juliet wrote a story describing it like a cult, and I'm starting to think she was right. It's not fun anymore. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. <laughs> That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. <laughs> The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. <laughs> I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. Oh, we have it in here. So, I heard so Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on a loop. <laughs> Sehr geil. Ah ja, wir können noch mal die aktuellen Gedanken von Max hören. Äh, hier irgendwas? Nö. Oh doch. <lacht> ja, die beiden kommen sich ein bisschen näher. Kate almost dead. Rachel dead. Enter the Vortex Club. Look at these entitled assholes. They don't give a shit about anybody. If that tornado came right now, I would just sit here and watch for a while. But I have to make sure Chloe doesn't go on her own rampage. I hate feeling this way. It's dark and angry. Das kann man verstehen, ne? Die feiern alle hier, als wenn nichts wäre und dabei sind so schlimme Ereignisse passiert und die wissen alle gar nicht, was Rachel Amber zugestoßen ist. Na gut, stehen wir auf und gehen zu Chloe. The Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. Oh good, Chloe's here. Oh, she obviously didn't find Nathan. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide in here. So, you made it. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a mission. Oh, uh, I was just... Looking for Nathan. Uh huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. 
I'm almost on! Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. <laughs> Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Oh, scheiße, scheiße, scheiße. Was ist denn da gerade passiert? around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Schnell hinterher. Bleiben wir lieber in Chloes Nähe. Das gefällt mir ganz und gar nicht, Leute. Come on, come on. Nathan needs to die now. Oh, for God's sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. We could die, okay? Okay. <lacht> Rachel. Oh, Rachel. Das gefällt mir nicht. Das gefällt mir ganz und gar nicht. Oh, I fucking kill that little psycho. Hey, I can't focus. Max, please, hurry. yelling. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, oh nein. Oh, oh, nein, 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 nein. Chloe! Look out! What the fuck? <gasps> Chloe, nein. Oh 
Oh mein Gott. Mr. Jefferson. Ja, das ist ein Schock, nicht wahr? Nicht Nathan, sondern er ist der Killer. Chloe ist tot. Wir sind betäubt und können die Zeit nicht zurückdrehen. Und wir sind, wir sind in den Händen von Mr. Jefferson. Das ist echt übel. Puh, Mann. Ja, das Finale von der vierten Episode war nochmal richtig emotional und dramatisch. Und was für ein fieser Cliffhanger, nicht wahr? Aber glücklicherweise müsst ihr ja nicht so lange warten. Es geht ja bald weiter mit Episode 5. Und da wir auch noch genug Zeit haben, werde ich mal den Abspann überspringen und direkt weitermachen mit Episode 5. Life is Strange, Episode 5, Polarized. Das sehen wir genau jetzt. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody, except each other. You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Oh, look, the Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. <gasps> Rachel, why? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. Look how. What the fuck?
Chloe. What? Where? It's a dark room. Scheiße. Wir sind im Dark Room und wir sind gefesselt. Is anybody out there? Please help! Keine Chance. Help! Somebody help me! Nein, 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 da bewegt sich überhaupt nichts. These straps are hurt. Ah, gut so. Finally, I'm free. Almost. Na komm. Nur ein bisschen dichter. Irgendwas muss doch dabei sein. Irgendwas Scharfes. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Ich habe versprochen, ich würde nie wieder zurück in die Zeit wie das wieder Aber das ist der einzige Weg. Jetzt ist nur die Frage, können wir noch etwas tun? Na? Ich krieg's gerade nicht hin. Jetzt! This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. Oh man. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Dieser kranke Bastard, ey. Der wird dafür bezahlen. Oh Max, you fucked up my shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Hey, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, 
Please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. <laughs> Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter. Though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. Das ist so schrecklich mit anzusehen. Oh nein, Victoria. Wow, I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Oh shit, Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too. This is so bad. Victoria, hey, Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh God. Where, where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate. And me. Do you remember how you got here? No. I don't know. Wait. You warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then I went to Jefferson for help, and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please. I'm sorry for everything. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max. I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. Was nehmen wir denn da? Victoria, please listen. I have a plan. Really? How, Max? I'm so scared. So am I. But we don't have time to be scared. We have to fight back. Now. Max. I can't even move my arms. How are we supposed to fight? I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he doses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. Kate wants us to get the hell out of here. And then we can both go see her again. Okay? I'd do anything to see Kate once more. Just to tell her I'm sorry. Victoria. We will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. Gut. Also stellen wir mal das Foto scharf. Warte mal, was ist mit der Kamera? I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. <lacht> Absolut. Also dann stellen wir das Foto scharf. This might work. Please work. Why is 
I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. As simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh, Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 <laughs> Why? Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. 
you're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Ah, wie krank. Aber na gut, Leute, wie es hier weiter geht, sind wir erst in der nächsten Folge von Let's Play Life is Strange. Sorry. This is not art. This is purity personified. Und ich hoffe, ihr schaltet dann wieder ein. Bis dahin.